All right, in this section we want to talk about uh, congruent and similar triangles. See, I just can't even help myself. It's got little T-Rex arms right here. Do you see it? See, there's my little, there's my little guy. He's a little dragon. You got some spikes coming out here. I'm sorry, I see weird things. But I don't see dead people. <laughs> Spoiler alert from 10 years ago, 15. All right, so what does it mean to be congruent again? Remind me, congruent means what? Same. All right, so congruent, we said same what? Same size, same shape, right? So congruent triangles have to be the exact same shape and size, okay? Similar triangles, this is a little bit different. These guys have the same shape, but they have proportional size. They don't have equal size, but you guys have, have you guys ever scaled things in and out like you're playing around on the computer? Like, oh, I'm going to scale this in and out. Woo, it's, 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 it's small. It's big. It's small. It's big. Or like on your phone. Oh, you, your phone. Yeah, your phone. Okay. If, of course you have phones, right? Where's my phone? What would you guys do with my phone? Uh, All right. Well, I guess I don't have my phone, so somebody's making phone calls to, oh, here it is. It's right there in the open. <laughs> hey, don't, you know what? Don't judge me. I don't need this. Let me see if this works. All right, so here's, here's an image, okay? Now, all this is is an image, and I could copy this and have the exact same shape and size, right? But if I were to zoom in like this, did the shape change? The shape is still the same, right? Yes, by the way, that is a Mississippi State garden gnome. Um, I did not purchase this, wanted to, chose not to. But if I, come on, that, that's, that's stinking awesome, right? If I zoom in or out, the shape is still the same, right? The size changes, though, doesn't it? Relative to my screen, the size changed. So these image, images, we could say these are similar, okay? If I couldn't change this, and I had from one image to the next, it was still the exact same. So here's the image. And there's the image again. These guys are congruent images, right? They're the exact same thing. You buy that. Okay. So we're going to extend that and talk about that with triangles. So congruent triangles would look something like this. At least the best that I can do for congruency. Okay. Now, there's a lot more stuff that you can talk about with congruent triangles that we're not going to be able to get into in this class, but it is worth your time. If I were to say this, and I say that triangle, so we use the little triangle symbol, ABC is congruent, so use that weird symbol again. Now, if I'm saying that's congruent to this other triangle, I need to make sure that I have corresponding pieces lined up correctly. So in this diagram, it looks like D matches up to A, the E matches up to B, and F matches up to C. So if I say these guys are congruent, that means, boy, you just almost can't even say this enough in geometry. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. 
Now, if you were, I don't know if you guys remember doing proofs or anything like that in geometry a long time ago. You might have seen this as C, P, C, T, C. You didn't prove, so what's the reason for this? Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Oh, don't, no. No frowning faces. So here's what that means, corresponding parts. That means angles and side lengths. So if I say this guy right here measures 10 meters, what do you know about the other diagram? Well, here, let's write this out just so you know. I'm saying that AB, or line segment AB, is congruent to line segment what? What does AB correspond to in the other triangle? D. It corresponds to DE. So if you have this, if these guys are congruent, then we would say this, that AB equals DE. Without that bar across the top of it, that means that you're talking about the actual length of this. So if AB, if line segment AB measures 10 meters, what do you know about line segment DE? 10 meters. It also measures 10 meters, right? What if I say that F measures 32 degrees. What else do you know? Right, so in this diagram, um, angle F is congruent to angle C, which means that the measure of angle F equals the measure of angle C. And you would say, okay, well, this means that guy's going to be 32 degrees. And you might even do something like this. Put the same arc there. If I were to keep doing this in this diagram, that means that angle E is congruent to what? B. Angle B. And that angle D is congruent to what? Angle, angle A. So notice the different hash marks I'm using there. That way you can go look back and forth between the two diagrams and see, okay, D and A are congruent, E and B are congruent. So if I say that the measure of angle D is 60 degrees, what's the measure of angle A? And it's also going to be 60 degrees. Then my question to you is this, what's the measure of angle E? Right. So just in case you guys have forgotten, the sum the sum of the measures of the angles in a triangle equals 180 degrees. So in this diagram here, I just don't know, say, E. So if you make this guy equal X, that means X plus 60, plus 32 equals 180. And this is just a simple algebraic equation for you to solve. That means that x plus 92 equals 180, which means that x equals how much? 180. Oh, I've got to do all the work? Fine. means that x equals 88. Did you get that? Then why didn't you say it? <laughs> Come on, Karen. Yeah, so you'll be able to say here from above, so the measure of angle E equals 88 degrees, which also means the measure of angle B equals 88 degrees. So even if I don't give you all of the information, sometimes I give you just enough and you can finish everything else.